Hi everyone, I'm going to present to you a new content list I made myself. It's um, a brand new content, uh, new footages, and all this from Google Earth. These are things I actually put down for the links you can check out for yourself. And I find it kind of freaky. We're going to start off with, um, I think, are the weakest one to the strongest one. So we're going to go ahead and start with number three. In Western West Virginia, there's a trans, like I said, lunatic asylum. I already have the coordinates set up for this, so let's go ahead and select it now. With this one, you have to actually look for the, um, the three dots here, as you can see. And on the third, the middle dot here, you get to look for the one underneath it. With that one, you have to select. So after selecting it, you're going to be taken to this red room. You can see a picture here to the right. There it is and off to the corner of the room is another picture and above that is a little white spot here's the white spot right now that's crazy it looks like a head i'm telling you it's weird because if you look above the picture you see the shadow of the picture cornering the room it actually goes into the corner but that white spot does not it actually just stays there fully rounded as a head like a floating head so this is not my best picture that i have on this list but it's pretty, I think it's at least good enough to make number three. As I'm doctoring it up, I think it needs a little bit more to it. Maybe a little too much. Maybe it takes them off the top. That is so nuts, though. I mean, it looked like a floating head. I mean, that's crazy. If you check out the rest of the room, it, I mean, you see no glare. You see no light source shining through too brightly to give it that kind of illusion. So I don't know if it's just matrixing or a sun flare or something, but you know, with matrixing, it just you're being forced an image, even though it's not there. So I don't know if it's that, but I actually see the face. I mean, which to me, it's absolutely crazy. It's just nuts. Number two. This one's located in Cooks County, Illinois. It's called Bachelor's Grove Cemetery. Now, the thing is, when you go select this on there, it's like basically the only thing you can't select an area. And the picture shows a you know, little walking path and a fence and everything. But when you select it, it doesn't look like that at all. It looks like this. We're just gonna wait for it to position, zoom in, and here we go. Now let's just take a look and go around. All right, as we're looking around slowly, I don't know, I think I should have turned the phones to portrait mode instead of, I guess landscape mode instead of portrait mode. Now we're gonna do it a little bit faster. So we're just gonna keep going around and around to find what I'm looking for. And I believe it's right here. All right, let me go ahead and zoom in. Okay, this is what got me. I mean, it looked like a head sticking out of the water. Okay, it does. So when I zoomed in and I took a picture of it, I noticed something behind that. It's like one of those little those uh, ring girls, you know, from the, the ring and with a head in front of it. So to me, that, that was nuts. Don't you see that? That's crazy. Man, you could act like, she's like staring right at you or like biting in the back of that person's skull or something. I mean, what happened to the symmetry? Did it get washed away or something? I mean, I can look into this. This is, this. I mean, this is nuts. Absolutely crazy. Well, you could see I was trying to, you know, separate the heads with drawings, but I don't, I don't very draw, draw very well with this thing. So, I mean, but you could, I could see the heads. I don't know if you can, if you guys could leave a comment below, just let me know. This next one is my pride and joy. It was the first attempt and I nailed it. I mean, it was crazy and I got it the first try and I did a hundred after this to look it up and I couldn't find anything close to this. Number one. In Edinburgh, Scotland, here's the Grey Fires Cemetery. And here, like I said, first time I tried it, I barely move 
the Google Earth maps at all. Notice something strange and gray. I zoomed in. And this is what happened. Now I'm just going to remain a little silent as you take this in. So I'm going I'm to say something after it happens. Oh, there you go. Hey, right, just drop the mic. Show's over, people. I mean, hey, like it, it's a ghost. Look at the feet. Look at the hair. Black outfit. White skin. Black hair. No feet. It's crazy. I mean, look at. I had to take a screenshot of it and zoom in on it. That's just to get a clear shot. I mean, it's nuts. Like, I mean, if you guys want to check this out, the links are going to be down below. You can look for it for yourself, and I mean, wow. This uh, Great Friars Cemetery is the real deal. It's listed as number one haunted graveyard anywhere in the world. And there's like proof. There's proof right there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. That's just crazy, man. I mean, what?